Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to read a custom user profile. Okay, so to start, I've got, we're going to work with two users. So Irene Johnson here and then Stella Green. Now I'm going to click on Stella Green. And then, so this is a, a, a default user. Uh, you can see that right here, it says user. If I go back, and open Irene Johnson, you will see that Irene is a custom user. So this is just the name that I gave. Okay. Now let's see, uh, let, let's look at the actual user here and the actual type. Uh, so right here, and I went to profile editor, right here is the default one. So I can open it. And then this is where you can see all the attributes. And then also what I did is I added a custom one, which is just a LinkedIn profile a link, right? So if you go to custom, you can see all the custom profiles or you can see all of them, all of them here. Okay, so this is again, right here, this is the default user. And then it has one custom attribute, which is the LinkedIn profile. Now, if I go back and I open, so this is the custom user type. And so this has also one custom attribute, which is just a portfolio URL, right? So again, to go back, we've got the default user type, user, and then we've got the, uh, the custom user type, the Atco user uh, here. Okay, so the goal is now you're building a flow and you would like to read that attribute, right? Um, you want to read the attribute from a default user, but you also want to read the custom attribute from the custom user. So let's see how to do that. Uh, and again, the, the way you do it is different for the default one and then the custom one. So let's start with the default one. Um, so this is the user ID. Uh, this is uh, Stella's user ID. And I'm just reading the user using Okta uh, read user card. And... Um, Right here, I have uh, four properties. Oh, sorry, I was actually looking at the wrong one. I need to scroll. <laughs> I need to scroll back a little bit. Uh, but it's the same thing. Uh, I got the user ID. This is Stella's user ID, and then uh, read user. And right here, you can see I've got LinkedIn profile. Now, when you add the card, or if you choose fields, you will be able to see. If I scroll, so these are all the fields that you can show. But right here, so the LinkedIn profile is here. So again, this is the default user, but this is a custom attribute on the default user. Um, and so you do get it here. So using this read user card, you do, you will get any custom attributes you define. Okay. And what I can do now, I can just take this. And if I want to test, just copy it this way and then test the card. All right. And we can see that this is what it's set to. Uh, we're seeing the custom attribute on the default user. Okay, so this works fine. Now, the um, sort of how it works differently is with the custom user type. Now, right here, this so this is Irene. Okay, now, and I'm still using the read user card. This is just really just one. But if I go and it's the same thing what i showed you before if i go i do get the linkedin profile right but i don't get the portfolio url okay so if you remember the portfolio url is a custom attribute on a custom user type i know it can get a little bit confusing with all the custom um but again the portfolio url is an attribute is a custom attribute on a custom user type and so that's why we don't actually see it here right because the this card can read attributes on a default user type, but not the custom one, okay? And so that's why this card won't really help us. But the way to actually read that custom attribute is to use the custom API action, okay? And to read, um, to read that user information. So what I'm doing here is this is the endpoint users, and then I'm uh, adding the user ID and then I'm using custom API action to make a call to this endpoint. And then I'm able to read 
that custom attribute. Okay, so let's see how this whole flow works all together. Let's test this. All right, so we can see this is the endpoint. I'm adding the user ID. This is the uh, this is the actual actual endpoint. Then I'm making an API call, and then I'm getting back this body back, and then the portfolio URL is right here in the profile object. And so what I'm doing next is I'm just using get multiple. I'm passing in the object. And then just to make it a little bit simpler, I'm just getting the profile. And then we can see that uh, we got the, we got the portf portfolio URL and that's the URL, right? So now you can do another um, get or get multiple, right? And then you can read this this value. So maybe we can just quickly do that. Um, just for just as a final um, example. So get multiple. And this will be for this. And then let me just make sure this is the right This is the right, oh, actually, I already misspelled it. So oh, let's delete this, All right? And let's save and let's test. And here we go. We end up with just a portfolio URL. Um, well, I think that's it. Um, that's uh, I wanted to show you. So again, just to show you the difference between reading a custom attribute on the default user type versus reading a, cust a custom attribute on the custom user type, right? You can get both, but you just need to do it a little bit differently. The first one with the default one, you can just use the red uh, read user card. Uh, but for the custom custom one, you need to use the custom API action to do that. So um, that's it. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.